Daria and Teresa. They're twins, but to be fully honest, that's the only thing that's similar about them. Daria is very studious. You can't find her without her anatomy textbook. Once she's finished her undergrad, she wants to go to medical school and become a surgeon. Teresa, on the other hand, can't wait for graduation to come. You can find her slacking off from her assignments and look up flight tickets. She loves exploring the world and wants to travel once she's done school. During her spring break, Daria went to the Dominican Republic to volunteer at a hospital. Teresa, on the other hand, went to Thailand with a few friends during her spring break. But suddenly, after returning from their trips, both started to feel sick. At first, they both thought it was either the cold or the flu. Both had the same symptoms, such as having a high fever, nausea, rashes, and a headache. Daria contracted dengue fever while hosting a clinic in a rural area. Dengue can't spread from person to person. However, if a mosquito gets the virus from biting a person, it can spread it to someone else. Daria didn't feel sick until she got home because the disease has an incubation period of 4 to 10 days. Teresa got typhoid fever when she decided to try some pad thai while in Thailand. Typhoid is caused by bacteria in contaminated food and water. This bacteria is known as Salmonella typhi. Teresa also didn't feel sick until she got home because typhoid is asymptomatic for 7 to 14 days. So you're probably wondering, what's similar about these two diseases? Both of these diseases are known as neglected tropical diseases or NTDs. NTDs are infectious diseases that predominate in the tropics or hot places. Examples include India, Brazil, Central Africa, and Southeast Asia. Within these countries, they can be found in rural communities, urban slums, and displaced populations near the equator. These infections can be attributed to poor sanitation, unclean water, and mosquitoes. NTDs are caused by a variety of pathogens, including bacteria, viruses, protozoa, and parasitic worms. These diseases are known as neglected because they do not receive greater treatment options or funding. So you're planning a trip to the tropics and you're wondering, how can I prevent myself from getting NTDs? The first option is vaccination. Talk to your healthcare professional about four to six weeks in advance about the proper vaccines for your destination. Since many of these diseases are spread by mosquitoes, bug spray is another good preventative option. Two examples of bug spray are DEET and picaridin. Both can protect you for about two to six hours, but the difference is that picaridin is nearly odorless. Make sure to drink only bottled water and stay away from tap water. Additionally, you should stay away from high-risk foods such as undercooked meat or unpasteurized milk. With regards to sanitation, wash your hands often and carry an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Daria and Teresa hope to learn from their mistakes in the future. Daria realized that she had forgotten to pack her bug spray, while Teresa realized that she drank some tap water while in the tropics. Maybe their forgetfulness is the only thing they have in common after all. For more information on NTDs, visit the World Health Organization's website by clicking this link below.